Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you, goodness. Thank you. So, I've been hunting for about 11 years. Learned a lot of things and I, I really enjoy it. Just being outside, being able to sit up in a tree, being out with buddies and stuff like that. And there's something about it that's like a cat chasing a laser pointer, right? Like it, it feels like it's kind of in my, in my nature to, to actually do it. But over the past couple years, I've had a problem. I've developed a huge love for filmmaking and for photography. And the issue with that is this year, it has completely screwed me up. There has been two times where there's actually a, a, a deer walks in that I would totally normally take with my bow, but I'll be sitting there kind of going, ah, photo, uh, maybe, uh, uh, no, shoot it. Uh, maybe I'll get a, a shot before I actually try to shoot. And so what I've kind of learned about myself is that I'm almost just as interested, almost, in, in shooting with, with a camera instead of, a bullet or an arrow. Now, there's a little bit of a, an internal debate with that and with my friends and family because my family can't eat photos, but they can definitely eat steak that I get from, from deer and, and whatever other game there is to hunt, right? So, but with, uh, but with photos, you can print something, you have it forever. You've, you've, you've seen that beautiful animal and instead of sharing the meat from that thing, you can share the experience of that or the beauty of it. The nice part now is hunting season's over. So normally, I don't go back outside because I can't go and shoot anything. But today, we're gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna go hunting, and we're gonna go hunting with this. Me and, uh, me and Caleb, we've been texting back and forth for a while as far as going out and getting, instead of just going out and shooting fun things, going, hey, what shot would you like to get and let's go and try to get it. One of the shots that, that, that we wanted is this bison in a snowstorm. And now, in order to get that, it's very hard because there's very few bison and you gotta time it out with a snowstorm. So today, we're in Riding Mountain National Park. The forecast says that snow is supposed to roll in at about one o'clock and it is currently almost 12. So we have about an hour. Not sure what the rules are as far as if we're allowed to walk in and take pictures or if they're aggressive. I don't know, but we're gonna try it out. So we came armed with the Fujinon 100 to 400. We specifically went and bought this lens for this shoot and this might all be for nothing because the bison don't come out or it doesn't snow or we don't get the shot. Let's see if it's as satisfying shooting with this as it is like in the last video with the gun. My thought, I don't know. Let's see. Caleb and I just got here to Lake Audi after a three hour drive or so, and we couldn't ask for better weather. As we're pulling in, there, there is like fog in the valley and there's like hoar frost on trees, which we hadn't even anticipated, um, but it looks really cool. So anyways, we're, we're pulling in here and we're not sure that we can even find bison. So apparently in the summertime, they're in the south pasture type thing and then they release them to like this northern pasture and I've n we've neither of us have ever been here to look at them um, but you know instead of doing the smart thing like calling ahead or asking somebody or asking uh, one of the people that work at the park if uh, if they're available even or if there's even they're still here and alive we just figured we'd come down here so um, maybe that was a bad idea but we'll see we're in the park here we can't seem to find them but we know they're close here. We uh, are finding what is presumably bison turds. So, I mean. Yeah. They've definitely been, that's definitely, that's definitely bison shit. We're gonna find them. I think they're around here. Gotta be somewhere. 
I'll just try to. It's not as bad as you think, actually. Healthy bison. Grass fed. Hey, there they are. There they are. Look, 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 look. Yes! That's them. Is that? Yes. Dude. I was just going to say, like, yeah. I'm used to spotting oh, deer. Oh, that's them. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. That is crazy. Oh, that's a... They're in there, though. Keep driving. We have to go in there. No. Oh, yeah. Well, There's are... still generally wild bison, man. Well, what else? What else are we going to do? Like, this isn't a shot here. Mm -hmm. Sleepy, sleepy bison. <laughs> Look. Well, let's keep driving. Like, they're not all, that's not that, all the bison in the enclosure. Dude, there's a ton in there. There's, well, there's 10. There's a ton in there. No, there's more than 10. For sure. And I, I kind of feel like maybe walking in there. Psh, I'll do it. It's a bison. You think it's going to, it's not going to, like, charm. I've just heard stories of bison. Like, they have horns. And they're a very... Are they aggressive? I don't... More than a f damn cow. Okay, what's this gate, you think? I'm nervous getting when there's, like, like trained horses okay. or cattle. And yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah. shit, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, stop, so stop, 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 stop. Coyote, coyote, coyote. Oh, dude. While we wait for the bison to get in a better spot, we wanted to make some lunch and make some coffee because it's freezing. I definitely underestimated how cold it was going to be. And so uh, we're right actually on the edge of Lake Audie here. Um, so it's pretty windy. But we found the shack here and I think there's, it looks like there's chimneys on top of it. So we are going to see if there's any way to make a fire, we brought a French press and a kettle, so we need some fire. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we are just pulling back into the bison uh, enclosure here. And uh, the conditions are crazy. Huge snowflakes, it's exactly what we want. But we're kind of nervous. We're kind of nervous that we won't be able to find them and that they'll be hunkered down. So we're gonna go back to the spot where we had them before lunch and just hope that they're generally there. Because we have sunset in about 45 minutes we're gonna lose light here and this new lens is gorgeous but in brighter light um, we'll probably be shooting at f5.6 um, for those of you that don't uh, practice photography that means it's gonna make it a look a lot darker so um, really hoping that in the next 10 to 15 minutes here we can find something oh my gosh stop 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 Go right behind the bush. Are you recording? Yes, 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 yes. Dude. Oh, thank gosh. Can we stop? Yes. Stop? No, we stop right time. here. Move over. Don't let them see us. Stay behind this. Like, keep us behind this bush. Just stop here. Don't even move. There's not going to be vehicles that come through here. It's exactly the shot we want. But they still, like, they might move off as soon as we get there. So we're going to see. They won't be able to see very well on this lens, but we'll change something around so you can see it. So we think we were freaking them out, maybe by foot. 
Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. They're walking away from us, though. Here, I got your steering wheel. Keep driving. Keep driving. You think you got it? No. There they are. They're all inside that. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Stop. Come stop. We don't want to scoop them. Don't want to scoop them. Well, let's keep driving so that they can't hear us. And let's turn around. And then let's come back. Next scene you're going to see, hopefully, is us victorious or us in utter failure. <laughs> I cannot believe that we actually got the shot that we set out to do. Um, I would say that after doing that, going around and hunting with the camera is uh, equally as fun as, as hunting archer or something like that. I think it's neck and neck. I can't decide, but what I can say is that I think whoever currently hunts, or if you're a photographer looking for things to do, if you live in Manitoba or even in Canada, wherever you are, get out to a national park, get out somewhere, think of a shot that you wanna do and go out and try to get it. This was my first time ever planning and going, this is the shot I wanna get, watching the weather, trying to figure it out, planning it, driving three hours and sitting there not knowing if you were even gonna get it and we ended up getting, I think, pretty much exactly what I wanted to get, bison, in the snow in riding mountains so that was a successful trip i hope you were educated i hope that was entertaining for you um and i hope that encourages you to get out there and try it yourself thanks so much until next time i don't want you to get offended by this but i think maybe you didn't dress properly <laughs> i do you agree with that or no yeah i didn't okay <laughs> <laughs>